Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog coming to you tonight talking about Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts are closing a hundred stores. That sucks. Totally, totally, totally sucks. But what can you do as an employer? Listen, if you are working in these businesses and these jobs, these jobs don't love you. Now I want you to go to work and I want you to give 100% for sure while you're there. That's the truth. You know, you're getting paid. Give them the 100%. But you need to go home and be building, 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 building whatever side project or side businesses or side hustle you desire to gather up income. Because when people at these 100 stores lose their job, don't wait to the last minute to get in the market. Don't let unemployment sit up until right before unemployment goes away. You figure out what you want to do. It's very, very important to get invested early and often. Uh, and, and what I mean about that is I mean, if you go to work and there's a hint of them having to lay somebody off, I want you at home working on your business plan and working on something you can sell and do that very day to get free. And a lot of times people have credit card debt, car debt, all this good stuff. And really when they should have, I remember I had uh, one car that I was making payments on and a little Honda paid off, paid 600 bucks for it. And I sold that little Honda and I didn't think anything of it. Well, then my nice newer car transmission went out. But guess what? I didn't have the money to fix it. So that made me go into more debt. What would have happened if I would have just thought about having that second car that was completely paid off and rideable? I'd have been in a much better position. So when you work at these companies and you work at these jobs that clearly don't love you, you need to focus on a way to um, have a backup plan, whether it's your car, whether it's getting a paid off car, just a cash only car, or whether it's um, moving to a cheaper apartment, moving to a cheaper house that you bought and you can afford. There's so many ways to get around this and I don't, I don't want you to compromise compromise and compress yourself down to a smaller state you know I, you know i don't want you driving a 1970 something car and, and living in a, a a rat hole full of roaches but i want you to be cautious about uh the spending you're doing because you're relying on a job to keep you there and pay you when they don't love you and i hope you're not running around talking about how great dunkin donuts is dunkin donuts is the best in the world i work there Hey, that's great and all, but they're getting ready to close 100 stores and they don't care about you. So, and I say that often, that jobs don't care about you because they don't. You provide a service, they pay you while you're there. Donezo. So again, this is Erica, Classic Line Blog. 100 Dunkin' Donuts stores are closing. What are you going to do about it? Now, a good side note of what I thought about is some of these people might be just leaving Dunkin' Donuts and going to Starbucks, right? Moving up the chain of food, of food and drinks. Or they might actually be going more organic or smaller stores. There's many reasons why they're closing all these stores. But again, Erica, Classic Line Blog. Guys